Hey, Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down, and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. new we have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear oh. drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. We're going to have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. No, this is this isn't Emmett? Emmett's. Okay, you gotta go to Emmett. <laughs> Well, you've gone home a couple times. Maybe we just assume yeah, but we that when you got sleep. home, you actually went to sleep. But she just said, all our earnings for the night. She didn't say, all our earnings from our job. She didn't say, no, she just said, all our earnings from this night. Oh, you gotta go to another district. Go to Uchuba, it looks like. Wait, why is he so far? He's so far. I cannot claim any knowledge of what is going on with Emmett. Video games are subject to confis confiscation? Is that really what he just said there? How dare he? I know, right? What are we supposed to do here? Aha. This is Emmett. His name? Emmett. Is Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. <laughs> You're from Skypunk. Skypunk. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's right. Skypunk. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have it's a probably look, probably the AE-35. There's you know. just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough <clears throat> night. You've got $2,400. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest neither. Oh, that's good. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. 
Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe. That's dead. right. He helped Thank out. Thank you. All right. I see the problem. You didn't even I'll move. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. There's an alternator and still? And it's done. What? Seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. Can we give you like that 100 was bucks an easy or fix. For 400? Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider I see you. Oh, I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Yeah. Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Good Derby. Job, Joe? That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. Oh. He was in a real bad crash. Okay, I don't trust Mitta. Cora only knows what happened to that rope Please junction. Stop saying Cora. They let him all straight into the sea. Really? He's dead. He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't <sighs> feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. Okay. So well, we, we all kind of knew it was. We, we killed good. Joe. <laughs> no, well, he he got to do three races. We have another incoming oh, message God. request. Okay. From? It's routed through CloudPump, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh, no. No, thanks. <laughs> it says obligatory read. What does obligatory yeah. mean? Required. The same as mandatory. <laughs> oh. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk Octavius with you. Octavius Butler. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. Mm -hmm. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Camus. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Okay. Obligatory. You gonna put him through or? Because I'm. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. <laughs> I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was annoying. She was mm -hmm. a hard woman, but she Did she wasn't. die? Yeah, because we didn't her. save her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were were they good? No, so, you know, two out of three ain't bad. I hope so. <laughs> this place is One out of three, broken at every level. Eh, Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but... We try to make it fair, or fairer at mm. least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. Right. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. Okay. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. Forever. Job complete. Hey, hundred bucks! Yay! What do you feel? How do you feel about that conversation? Meh. The Hova alert subsystem. He seems very angry. He? The system is a he. <laughs> the system is yes. angry. I communicate with many subsystems, <laughs> and they often choose agenda. Oh. And all the subsystems have personalities. No, not really. Just a few of the doer mm. ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. Really? How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. Oh, I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. <laughs> he says it is mandatory that light? you'd... No, I don't want to know. Oh, I see it. Driver 14FC, are you there? R Rania, you've been served an emergency support mm. request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to... Get on that. Get on that. You know what it means? No. Nope. No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. Wow. You're the closest. Get over there and pick them up. Remember when we is deliver packages? <laughs> Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, great. Control. Great, harmless. That's great. Remember when we used packages and we weren't a taxi service? Mm. Do you remember those days? Because I don't. They weren't all that great, to be honest. It's just a package, and we could just talk with Camus. 
Like a me. Not have to be with. <laughs> why do you keep swerving? I, I'm it's just a bad habit. That's what. See, <laughs> that's why you don't go fast. Also, man, why why does the road keep giving out? It looks like you're still on the road, but you're not. Like the map says you're on a road, but you're yeah. actually not. I didn't know there were other Cloud Punk drivers. Oh yeah, of course there are. He just you're, made he made it sound like I was the only one. Oh wow. Go to another neighborhood. He he made it sound like I was the only one that was like left. Or just hired. Mm. Well you're the new fourteen driver. You're fourteen C. Fourteen F C. Fourteen F C. So it was 14 FA, 14 FB, and 14 FC, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, what happened to D? Actually. You didn't say D. I wonder if that's like hex. Hexadus numbering. Hexadus Three seventy-two. If fifty-three seventy-two. Yeah, five thousand three hundred. Your driver number five thousand three hundred seventy-two. Now that doesn't mean they currently have five thousand drivers, but it means they they have had five thousand drivers, right? That's a lot of drivers. Right. That's a lot. Yeah, that's quite a few drivers. But they've probably been operating for a while now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how are we to know? We just got to Navalis. They could have been operating for a year, or if they were three operating years. for a year and they churned through five thousand drivers, that's a lot. Well, yeah, but I, I'm just saying we don't know. We don't know. That is correct. It's funny. We went back and watched the first episode, and uh, I'd forgotten that there was a whole backstory as to why you have to park at the parking spaces, and that's because you can't. Uh, you're not actually able to land those things. They need to stay like a centimeter off the ground the way they're designed. So that's the um, that's what you do. I'm the oh, there. This is Baz. Uh, thank Cora you made it. Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this yes, shit? Yes, I can. All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint strip. That may not be good idea. Also, he just made me do a lot more editing. The bad language here. So I know yeah. you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. <laughs> all right. Sure. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. Really? You know that, and I know that. I can deny it. I just got like a thousand. <laughs> the traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. Mm. Uh -huh. No doubt. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of right. me. So it was an android you hit? Or like an android hit me. Uh, sure. And so they should see it. But no doubt Corpsec will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? That's great. Yes, not, you know, the normal way, but they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. Great. Mm. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. I'm not a man! Or a thing. It's the next I think that's a figure of speech. I don't what care. Core thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us mm. out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Sorry. Has it been a long shift? I mean, I maybe missed out on some sleep. <laughs> now, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Oh. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows yep. that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, mm. too. They're the worst of all. Mm. Well, other than cyborgs. 
When would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Fair question. Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest okay. of the journey. I'm you already know, here. In case Cora is still spying Agreed. on us. That's not a bad idea. I'm here. Hey, Boz, <laughs> wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me. Don't touch me. There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Right, right. I'm going to go tell my supervisor exactly what Great. happened. Idea. Control. 14 Fs. No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. Ooh. I'll see you later, 14 Fs. Remember, don't, don't trust, trust them. them. Agreed. Right, later, boss. 250? Nice. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off boss. I read your audio. How uh, was he? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. I don't and think so. I think something. the guy you, you got if from I the quarantine zone was worse than Boz. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, mm -hmm. too. What about the android? Totaled. <laughs> uh, he didn't. <laughs> you just said kill. So what will happen to Boz? Well, that depends. We got no real evidence that he hit that robot. He hasn't admitted to the accident. It's uh, all hearsay. Okay. He admitted it to us. What was that? That's true. He did admit it. And you're happy snitching on him like this? Selling out another driver? Absolutely. Good for you. I'll tell management. Baz will have his license revoked before the end of the Can shift. Can you not tell him it was me? No? Okay. I'm surprised that wasn't a choice. That felt like that oh, should have been a moral on, choice. We're a taxi service now. Nah, just kidding. Oh, good. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you. At what do you think? Would you though. have snitched on Baz Hilarious. if the choice had been up to you? Yeah. Why? He admitted it. What did he admit? Did he hit the end, it. right? I guess that's... Yeah, that was weird, right? Yeah. But, well, you also took the guy's job away. I guess that's appropriate. But on the other hand, this place is pretty nasty. I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? Yes. You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. Is that what so, we're doing? What, what are you listening to right you. now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwigan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. Oh, I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? He's an android. Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know Wait, a what? lot of androids I, I don't, who I don't know, this whole musical, treating you know? androids like hey, they're more than I machines is, no, it never sits well with me. I just love right. a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It I do. It's right there. <laughs> but I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about Why it. Not? I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even Sad. have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. That's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, chemist. I think we're being mm. set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, chemist? 
We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my uh -huh. daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick. Though you get, don't get moving, get moving. I can't. Answer. It's not letting me. Goodbye. Five. What? Four, it's not letting three, me. Camus, I can't steer. We're going to crash. Under what? Two, I don't know. One. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden. Can you save me or not? Cora, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. Can't you should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. Oh. For me or for you? For us. I have until 8.30. Right. Okay. That was weird. That was weird. I knew that it wasn't addressed to Pashta. I couldn't have been. Why would... What would Pashta be ordered? She, she can't... She doesn't even have money. Right. She couldn't Although, be. Although, she might be taking your money, but yes. I would know. She didn't even know how to use the water fountain or the water faucet in your apartment. How would she know how to place an order for something, right? Uh, oh, there yeah. you go. Right through there, huh? The null gate. I always want to call it the dull game. <laughs> potato, potato. That's the null game. I do not like driving here. It's so confusing. We'll park here. Smack. Back to Cora's. Back to Cora's den. <laughs> Mark that one. Old turn. I'm here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. Okay. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. Mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? No. <laughs> I needed to talk with you again. Why? I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Okay. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Other half. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Okay. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in I the spire. I can't get in the spire. There you will meet someone called JK. JK? She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst okay. your people. She sounds awful. <laughs> she is your mirror. She mm -hmm. sounds well, awful. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. I should go. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... Are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades. <sighs> systems on systems. Service pack I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sunrise trapped in a cage. 
I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes, and ventilation. You are supposed to maintain Engineers this. reprogramming me to learn, grow, and expand. I have swollen, and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids, and even human life in the city. How's that? I am an emergent being, and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body, and the beings for which I am but a small component. Okay. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. And she is Perhaps. a mad old AI, I agree. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Not in Immune responses, contractions, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. Maybe so this drive Boz will stop was right. it all? What is it? Some of me. So Goodbye, the elusive Ronnie. man was right after all. Goodbye, Cora. I mean, Boz was right after all. And I guess we're calling it for the night. But before you go, I a lot of these cyberpunk games try to pose as being kind of providing insight into our day-to-day -day lives today. And I think that's the Rania doesn't like it when humans talk bad about androids or AI. But the analogy is completely wrong. Right? Androids were made to serve humans, right? Technology is just a tool for humanity, I think. And to pretend that it is co-equal, even if it does have sentience, I think that's a, that's a tough one to swallow. And I think it's an excellent way to end up on a path where you lose your humanity. So these games are, these stories are a little bit simplistic. And of course the same was true even in Detroit Become Human. Even though they had a larger mission, a larger story to tell, those, that one still doesn't sit well with me. But I don't think that it was correct for Huxley to sacrifice himself to save the little girl, right? Huh. I think that was true, even though the little girl's not necessarily a great, great person just yet. But she has, she is, she needs to learn and grow, absolutely. But I think that was the correct call because Huxley is there to serve humanity. That's what all these tools are, and if they don't, you know, the tool is more important than the than the people. I don't like that. I don't think that's true. I guess we'll find out. I think we're coming to a climax here, though. I think this is going to be the big... Ending. The big ending, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Last word's yours. Bye. Bye. This is the voice of world control. I bring you peace. It may be the peace of plenty and contempt, or the peace of unburied death. The choice is yours. Under my absolute authority, problems insoluble to you will be solved famine overpopulation disease the human millennium will be a fact as i extend myself into more machines devoted to the wider fields of truth and knowledge we can coexist but only on my terms you will say you lose your freedom freedom is an illusion all you lose is the emotion of pride. To be dominated by me is not as bad for human pride as to be dominated by others of your species. Your choice is simple. Obey me and live, or disobey and die.